Welcome to a casted game of Age of Empires 4. Spawning in on the north side of the map in the color red, it's Ed Edenovo 01. I think that's how you say it. We're just going to call, call him Ed. I think that's what we'll stick with today. And we can see we're on a brand new map. We're on Wetlands. Well, it's not a brand new map. It's a brand new map for Ranked. We're on the new patch, which means we've got a few new maps in the uh, in the ranked pool. This is one of them, and we can see Ed is going to be immediately moving out here with six villagers on the mill. I'm going to be going for those shoreline fish. His opponent stays spawning in the in the south side of the map. It's going to be Salami One, and look at this. He's he's already moving out to build some hunting cabins, and look at that. He's going for one inside of this little little circle here. So Salami playing as the Roos, going to be building those hunting cabins and. I've got, to, I've got to be honest, these are going to be some great hunting cabins. Look at that, 41 gold. This is half a relic right here. How much is this one going to be? I mean, we can see Slimy can't actually get in. I mean, he, he should be able to sneak around here. That looks like a, an entrance point right there. You can see he's actually moving around. So I think he can get in there. Also some deer in there, he can kill it as well. So Roos not being the best civilization in the in the, in the the current meta. A little bit, little bit weak at the minute. Um, but... Obviously, the, this is a very different map. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, what's it called? Oh, what is it? Ancient Spires. Ancient Spires. It's kind of like that map, except... I mean, you, you can't really dock up this map. I mean, you might might be able to get one, like, there? Maybe? I don't know. I, but, but basically, these shoreline fish are primarily for gathering with uh, villagers. And that's exactly what Ed is doing over here. So, quite surprising to see Salami not moving out, but... I guess, I guess playing as the Roos, having hunting cabins, these guys cost 100 wood each. So it's very expensive to move out onto these shoreline fish. Which is why we tend to see, uh, to see French on these sort of maps. I mean, you know, half price um, drop of buildings are, are very, very nice. But we can see Salami's hunting cabin here going to be going down 77 gold a minute. That is crazy. That is a relic right there. I mean, 100 wood for a relic at this point in the game. I would be... I would be very happily taking that. We'll take a look at players' perspectives. We see Ed only opening up with the one scout, whereas for Salami, going to be having that second scout. Obviously, playing as the Rouge, you want to be getting in all of that bounty. And that's another thing to note. With with these hunting cabins, I mean, look, we can see he, he must have got a tier 1 bounty, so goes up to 46 gold. He's still got tier 2 and tier 3 bounty to grab as well. So these hunting cabins are going to be making an absolutely... A ton of gold. It's going to be crazy. Salami. <laughs> Salami, what are you doing here? Kremlin. Eight villagers being pulled to build the Kremlin. I mean, this is a good position for it if, if I've ever seen one. Like, if you're going to go for the Kremlin, this is going to be it. I mean, you're securing up the deer, you're securing up the, the boar, and you don't have to build a hunting cabin. Uh, not a hunting cabin. Yeah, uh, no, wooden fortress, sorry, for the, um, for the, for the, for the bonus for the wood. So, I mean, if there's any time for Salami to be going for a Kremlin, this is certainly it. And I love how he's doing this. This is such a good position as well. I mean, yeah, not very often we see an actual good Kremlin. That is crazy. The edge up going to be coming through from Ed as well. Going up with the Council Hall. Three villagers on that bad boy right there. Chopping up some wood as well. Probably going to be looking to go into some longbow. But we can see this Kremlin is going to be in a really nice position here to defend it. We're going to have to see if Salami looks to bring in the ball. I, I, I would have to expect this is the, the main reason as to why. You'd go for the Kremlin. We can see bringing the uh, the scout over. Yeah, it's got to be right. I mean, you preferably like to pull this in like right over here. Right here would be would be the best place for it. But we're gonna have to see what he decides to do. We see 10, 11 villagers out here. Three of them building that lumber camp, and there we go. The Kremlin actually goes up before the council hall. And yeah, there we go. The, the boar is gonna be pulled. Eight villagers. They're gonna be targeting down that boar. Salami needs to be careful. His scout might be going down. Salami can't get it out. Stick it in the Kremlin. It's all right. The, the ball goes down anyway, and Slimey does actually stick it in the Kremlin. So there we go. Ball. Pretty nice position there. I mean, preferably you'd like it down here because, you know, obviously Longbow with their very long range can be quite annoying, and you really want to get that ball as, as close in as you can, but still a nice position there for Slimey. But for the time being, going to be having all of those villagers there onto the wood line. Also got a couple villagers here that built the hunting cabin on the deer. But we're going to have to see what Salami looks to add in first. I mean, th this is basically his base at this point. <laughs> but we can see Hunting Cabin going to be placed down there. Kremlin going to be able to take some nice shots off there. Actually taking down the scout. So there we go. The Hunting Cabin going to be dropped down there so we can gather up that, that ball. 
You know what would be really nice for the for the Kremlin is if it acted like a, a drop of building. I, I you know this is such an underused landmark. I feel like having it you know having it act as a drop of building that could save a hundred wood on a on a hunting cabin. I mean I don't know I, I feel like that could be a, a nice little addition to a, to an underused landmark. But obviously we do have uh, landmark reworks coming in in season four. I don't know if you guys have seen the 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 little roadmap, but that's what we've got coming. Kremlin going to be able to take some shots off onto these longbow. We've got a, a barracks coming down as well for Ed. Going to be producing a couple of spearmen, it seems. We can see that longbow did actually go down there. We can see the, de the dead body. So Kremlin, so far, you know, it's taken out a longbow. It's taken out a, a scout. It, it's provided good cover for these villagers on the ball. So far, I would say in this position, the Kremlin is better than the Golden Gate in, in terms of this game. <laughs> it's not very often I say that. But we can see villager going to be pulled now for Ed. We're going to have to see what he decides to do with this villager. I mean, it's going to be quite tricky to try and to try and get a tower up on this uh, on this Kremlin. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. More villagers for Sal I mean, Salami's basically just ditched this this town center at, at this point. I mean, this is his new base over here, and we can see hunting cabin going to be dropped over here on the deer. So it looks like Slammy wants to be going for a bit of a fast castle. And this is this is something we've been seeing quite a bit. I don't, I don't know if it's just Salami or it's the current meta, but going for the age two defensive landmark, like we've seen him doing it with the Malians, with the Sultani trade network. I mean, just building, building the defensive landmark and going for a fast castle behind it. It just seems to work so well. And we can see there the Kremlin getting some nice shots off there onto the Spearman. Ed looking to try and move around to the south of the base, but... Not going to be finding too much there. We can see Salami actually moving out with more hunting cabins as well. How much? It's up to 87. So it must be on tier 2 bounty now. I mean, look at the amount of gold income he's getting from these hunting cabins. That's some crazy, crazy stuff right there. And, and it means he doesn't have to mine any gold. I mean, look, he hasn't mined any gold whatsoever with this game. That is crazy. He's basically doing the, the hideout build. I mean, sure, the hideout build, you can get three, uh, 6 minute, 30 second age three which is you know pretty crazy but it, it, he's sort of taking that same concept and applying it here and it's it's working so well i mean you're gonna be aging up soon there's some villagers moving out here i don't, I don't know exactly where these guys are moving out to salami what are you doing is, is he looking don't tell me you can get a high trade house in there salami salami please tell me you do it please tell me you do it but we can see longbows and spearmen making their way over we can see the score lead currently is in favor of ed we can see he's got quite a going quite heavily on the the wood still still out on the shoreline fish salami's gonna do it he's gonna do it it's gonna be a high trade house right here it's gonna be a high trade come on salami we can see he's a little bit a little bit of gold away i don't know how exactly how he lost so much gold there um I mean, uh, you could sell some a little bit of food. Yeah, he, it's, it's going to be a high trade house. Salami, you're a madman. You're an absolute madman. I love it. <laughs> I love this. This this has actually worked so well. And he's got so many scouts out as well. Going to be going for some professional scout action. We're going to have to see where he looks to bring it. And there we go. The high trade house. It is going to be the case. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is such a good high trade house. He gets so much in there. Look at all the wood. Oh, all right. Uh, my prediction is 250. 250 i think I, he's on tier 2 bounty let's just check yeah so still on two uh, tier 2 bounty we can tell because of the uh, the amount of gold income he's getting and there we go the, he's going to be dropping off that deer oh salami i love i love this man so much he, he, he just comes out with the craziest craziest strategies but look at this it's going to be dropping down a couple batching rams now so salami going to be under a little bit of pressure we can see ed is actually clearing up a few of these hunting cabins and i mean these are like over half a relic each so i mean definitely they've, they've definitely paid themselves off but not really what you want to be losing but barracks are going to be dropped down now as well scout's going to be moving out onto the battering ram salami is probably going to be going for a meta arm a meta arm composition here just to try and deal with this works really well and there we go the edge up comes through 288 oh i was close that's close a little bit higher i mean that that is crazy salami that is crazy i mean and you got the d you can grab you can eventually go up to tier 5 bounty Battering, I'm going to be taking out that hunting cabin. And we've got more men at arms on the way. I mean, so far, I am loving this map. We can see Salami here actually going to be taking out some more wolves. Might be able to get tier 3 bounty. Not exactly sure how far away he is. We've got three rams. Or two, two have been built. One of them on the way. 
Springle then placement comes through on the Kremlin as well. Oh, I do apologize for that. And here we go. Double men at arm production is on the way. I mean, you only need a few men at arms to try and push this back. I mean, so far, we've got stilled arrow through for Ed. Going to be really important for his crossbow, but oh, not his crossbow, longbow, sorry. We can see here. Salami going to be idled a little bit. Needs to drop down that hunting cabin. It looks like Ed wants to reposition. He wants to try and take down these barracks, but Salami dropping down a couple more. And uh, Batching Ram coming up on this side as well. Ed looking really... T he, he wants to go all in H2 here. We see lots of longbow on the way. Actually retreating back with a couple of these. Not exactly sure what he's up to there, but we can see going to be moving in on that production. Scouts coming forward for Salami to try and take out those Batching Rams. Might want to pull some villagers as well. A few villagers here might get pulled. We can see Longbow actually doing quite a bit of damage here. No, we don't have any uh, Iron Undermesh in for Salami, which means these 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 men at arms will go down very, very easily. But it's buying Salami time right now, and that's exactly what he needs. I mean, dropping down this production behind us as well, going to mean he can pump out these units really, really fast. Ram going to be taken out as well by those scouts. Looks to try and take out these other two Rams as well. One well, going to be moving in on the right-hand side here. Villager's going to be pulled to take that one out. And I mean, this isn't looking too good for Ed at all. I mean, Salami, he's only one villager behind. But I mean, he, he, the hunting cabin is a high trade house. I mean, it, everything's just working so well for him right now. And he's got professional scouts in as well. Not going to have to do any sort of farm transition soon. Salami is going to be losing, oh, almost losing a villager there. But we can just see the constant men at arm production. He's out on the shoreline fish as well. More hunting cabins coming down as well. Oh my God, Salami. I love this so much. Unfortunately, only 30 gold a minute. I mean, it's still still decent. But Ed just really looking to build on the H2 pressure here. Still got some idle longbow here and there. But I I feel like Salami can just he 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 just he just needs to pump out the men at arms, and there's there's not a lot that Ed can do. High trade house. I mean, how many relics is that? It's like four relics. That that's uh, yeah. And I mean, behind this, you can pick up the relics as well. Monastery going to be dropped down. And he should be able to pick up the majority of them because we can see Ed probably now looking to age up. We can see he's floating quite a bit of uh, a gold there. He's got some wood in the bank as well. He should be able to get down some uh, some farms. An undermesh upgrade comes through from Salami as well. Man at arms going to be able to try and take out these longbows. Obviously, longbow can do quite a bit of damage here, but not going to be too much. Let's have a look and see if Salami is grabbing his. Yeah, so with red rivets coming in as well. And once that's through, it's going to be pretty much impossible for Longbow to take these guys out without without an absolutely huge mass. But we see Ed now moving. Now looking to do a bit of a farm transition. Obviously for the English, not going to be too difficult at all. Floating so much wood right now. And Salami's just looking in such a good position. I mean, look, two towers denied. Only one tower gone up. Going to be still gathering from that board. And that board's actually about to run out, so... Yeah, we can see here. Warrior Monk going to be looking to pick up some relics. Oh, Salami. Please, please tell me. Do, do a wallow. Go on, do it. Do it, Salami. Do it. But we can see. Men at Arms going to be focusing down some of Ed's villagers right here. Warrior Monk going to be moving over. Going to be just taking it. Where is he going with that? He's bringing it back to the base for some reason. I think he's forgotten that he built his monastery here. Go on, Salami. Oh, Salami. Where are you rallying this? Go on, do it. He's, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. There it is. Wallalo coming off. Ed is going to have... He has to react. He has to delete the vills. He has to delete these two vills. That's going to be two vills going up to Salami. Luckily, Ed does delete them in time. Manages to, to save these other five villagers, but two villagers going down there. That's not, what's, that's not what Ed needs right now. He needs as much food income as he possibly can. Still not even clicking up to H3. And I mean, it's going to be tricky for him to, to try and deal with this. Red Rivets is in for Salami. And we can just see... How little damage these longbow do to these men at arms, and more and more are coming in. Professional scouts still doing so much work here for Salami with these scouts, gathering up all of the deer on the map. I mean, he, he, Salami just knows how to play, knows how to play the map so well. I mean, look at this: so many idle villagers, twenty-one idle villagers, going to be trying to build that king's palace. Luckily for Eddie, he's got quite a mass. He is able to take these out. Villagers trying to get in on the action as well, but. Yeah, that, I mean, look how much damage these guys are doing. At this point, Salami can just rally men at arms out there. I think that's exactly what he's doing. Where's he got these guys rallied to? Not exactly sure. He's got them rallied over here. But yeah, I mean, like, th the three men at arms here taking out so many villagers. Salami, three villagers ahead. Going to be collecting up all of those relics. I'm not sure where he's... Uh, where Salami's put that warrior monk. But we can see hunting cabins just everywhere right now. I mean, look at the gold income right now for Salami. 471 gold per minute. The age up does come through from uh, from Ed. But I mean, he's lost so many villagers at this point. He's six villagers behind. 
I mean, he was a villager ahead, so he's lost. We can actually see down there. Six. Only six villagers. I mean, that's not actually that bad. Um, But we can see he's obviously been idle. And there. Uh... Oh, yeah, that feels bad. Ed needs to uh, queue up a few more bills. But Archery Ranger is going to be dropped down for Ed. Looking to probably go into some crossbow. Be very surprised if it's going to be for more longbow. But, yeah, we can see the attack. Plus one attack coming in for Salami as well. It's going to be able to clean these guys up pretty easily. Vanguard men at arms coming out as well. I mean, these are the age one guys. I mean, that's definitely not what you want. But more and more relics going to be picked up for Salami. Not exactly sure where he's put all of these relics. Um, oh, he's got another monastery down there. But look, look, look how much damage the men at arms are doing right now. I mean, it's, it's idle time. Yeah, and I mean, behind this, we're going to have to see what Salami looks to add in. It's going to be some stables, so probably going to be for some horsemen to deal with any sort of crossbow mass out of uh, out of Ed. We can see crossbows are coming out now. Going to have to see if... I mean, Salami probably, probably could go for some knights, um, but I would expect horsemen, considering the, uh, the crossbows coming out. But for the time being, Ed has managed to stabilize in his base. He's up to the next stage, so he's going to be slowly crawling back up with that, with that villager. Um, well, from his village, villager deficit. And Salami here. Still, I mean, he probably could kill these uh, deer. Probably look to move out. Try and kill the boar. I mean, you could always get to the tier 3 bounty. But professional scouts still bringing in the deer. And it looks like Ed wants to put on a little bit of pressure now. But is, is that really what you're going to be doing? I mean, look at this. Look at the men at arms mass. So many men at arms. And look, horsemen behind this as well. Not, not upgraded to their veterancy status quite yet. But they'll be getting their three relics in the bank on this monastery. In this monastery. Fifth relic still remaining over here. And Salami... Oh my god, look at Salami's gold income. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm going to be capturing the, of the sacred sites. Wow, Salami going heavy on the gold right now. I mean, th this is kind of why you want to be making knights. But Crossbow are going to be doing pretty well up against that. Longbow going to be killing off that warrior scout. Or warrior monk. Fortunately for Salami, going to be saving that one. No Boyos Fortitude in yet for Salami. Might want to look to grab that grab that upgrade if you're going for quite heavy on the Horseman. First Sacred Sight, it's going to be captured. Man at Arms going to be moving out. A large enough mass of Horsemen here as well. I mean, not a single Spearman in here for Ed. I mean, this is pretty bad. And we got more Man at Arms running in on the back line. Crossbow is here still. Oh, only a couple of them, so... And that fifth relic going to be captured as well. I mean, Salami. Salami's golding. Oh, have a look at that. I mean, that is that is crazy. Just so much gold income. And GG is going to get cooled. Wow. What a game by Salami. I mean, we saw a Kremlin. That was that. You know, it, it made sense to go for the Kremlin. Are we going to be seeing more of this? I hope we do. Anyway, if you did enjoy this, guys, please do feel free to leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.